Dave. If you keep staring at that girl like that, she's gonna think you want to rob her. Women like being stared at, Mike. Makes you feel appreciated. Yeah? Willis, look at this babe over here. She's cute. Look at this. New 45, 14 round mag. Oh, yeah. These are the old World War II 45s, Willis. They had, what, about 900 feet per second velocity. Yeah. These new ones have 1,150 feet with about, what, 14 rounds? Was it 14? 14, yeah. These are super hot guns. Hey, we got eye contact. Uh, excuse me, my brother's uh, thunder's gonna make some lightning. I'm impressed. It's on a 1911 uh, frame, too. Where did I get some of these ones? Oh, come on. You can't get those down here. You know that. They're always looking out for revolutionary stuff. I think I can get you one, though. Yeah. Get me two of those. One for each hand. You want pearl handles like Patton? Yeah, he's my hero. That's right. Yeah, I know. Well, not me, brother. Got to be you. You wouldn't smile at me. <laughs> oh, she's just pretty, isn't she? She has nice teeth. All right. Be right back? All right. Well, actually, I won't be right back. <laughs> Automatic knives in here. Remember those knives you used to get when we were little called push button knives? They now call them automatics. What? They call them automatics now. They used to be automatic push button. what? Knives. You ever have push button knife? Hey, hey, don't you see what's happening here? What are you talking about this stuff for? Talking about push button knives? Yeah, well, I we, we've all had a push button knife. Did it come out the side or go out the top? Well, I had a Bali song, so it doesn't really make a difference. Oh, do you know how to... Yeah, yeah sure. sure. I put Come that on, in the coffin. Bali song. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they make these things in Ohio. Come on. What, what happened? Come on. No, Come on. Not me. I'll go take a look. <laughs> I, I, I don't really understand women. I really don't. You know, they give you the look and then they... They don't give you the look. I mean, what, 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 what is this chick's trip? I mean, she digs shutting down guys. I mean, come on. Eh? I'm going to take my stuff over there. Bring that book with you when you come. do uh i'm i'm an investment banker really yeah i own a bunch of property around here see that hill over there uh -huh. i own that and with some friends we're going to develop an 800 unit hotel plus i own some other properties around well entrepreneurs are the backbone of everything that's made civilization great my hat goes off to you I gotta send it back for a couple of these karate chicks from Pakistan. I don't get it. Mike. What? I don't get it. Willis has been sitting over there for 44 minutes. I mean, look, the guy's my friend and everything, but come on, we're talking about Willis here. Uh, 
We're gonna take off. Ah. Huh. Well, uh, Stephanie Wade. Wade. All right. You met Mike Land. Briefly. And Dave Thunder Thornton. More briefly. <laughs> so, are you two investment bankers as well? He's my business manager. Yes, I am. And what do you do? Uh, I am. Dave's our friend. Well, it was nice to meet you. Hey, I found a uh, great stretch of beach. Want to go see it? Sure. <laughs> drink too much, I might take advantage of you. Waitress! <laughs> You're sweet, but the fact of the matter is I just might take advantage of you anyway. Good. I think that goes both ways. <laughs> Have you ever had a goatee? A goatee? Uh, like a Van Dyke? <laughs> yeah. No? No, I had a beard. Yeah? Yeah, why? I just think you look really sexy with a little hair right there. <laughs> you wanna dance? Yeah. Five, six, and one down the back, but head on down, side, one up with three, seven, two, and four, into the far turn. Eight continues to lead three and seven. Come on. Around the turn and into the three, three, close. Look, the dog breaks from the outside, goes right to the front, and the back stretch, it just completely collapses. You know, that that's the problem with all these dogs. They're so inbred, they've all, all of them, got rubber legs. Good joke. You know, Mike, if I were a woman, I'd go out with you. Good. I mean, over Willis. What about you? Not me what? I mean, if you were a woman, who would you choose? Choose you, Dave. Really? Yeah. Now look, the six races coming up. Here's how I got it broken down. The four horse, chapped ass to win right across the board. Rusty groin right across the board to win. All right? Why? Because I want to eat my money back. And this is the last thing I'm doing before I go to lunch or kill myself. Why would you go out with me? Because you're a handsome guy, Dad. No, seriously. You're a handsome guy, you're, uh, you're funny, and, uh, and you're tan. Charming, you're charismatic, you're a businessman, you're a great fisherman. I mean, you got a great sense of humor. The story you told about the fat woman and the seal, I mean, it's the funniest thing I ever heard. And 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 and, and you told it with a flair and a style that is only Dave Thunder Thorn. And look at you, you're a chunk of clay, you're, you're chiseled, you're buffed, and look at the arms, come on, make a, make a, make a muscle there. Look at that. Look at that. They're only too tardy, right? What, what woman would not want those arms wrapped around them in perpetuity? Come on. Well, hey, Mike, you know, when you're right, you're right. And, and you are right. That's you know? right. I mean, the way I see it, that old uh, Dave Thunder Thornton magic, that uh, force of nature, if you will, is alive and well in Los Cabos. Women can't resist that. Hell yeah. 
You know, I, I just didn't procure the chick that quickly because I was a little tardy on my cast, you understand, or I had to lock her down a lot quicker. That's right. You were trolling. You should have reeled. You should have gaffed. You should have pulled her ashore. You didn't close her out, but look, reality-wise, you know how these things go. The girl, what's her name? Stephanie Wade. This is Stephanie Wade. She sees Willis. She thinks he's cute, and he is. He's cuddly. But, uh, look, what'd she do? She went out to the beach with him, maybe stopped off at Pepe's to get a low taco and a beer, and then, uh... She dropped him off, gave him a kiss goodnight, and split, right? That's right. My ideas with some... Hey. Hey. the guys. Let's go say hello. Yeah, with maybe some correctional garments or... <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Well, you guys look lonely and bored. <laughs> Come on, let's go check out the buffet, yeah, shall sure. we? What? Well, she's uh, about three or four pounds overweight, isn't she? You think so? Well, yeah, I mean, if you put her under a real good light, I mean, let's say you took her down to the airport and got a real good look at her, I mean, you'd find out she's 9, 10 pounds overweight, easy underneath all of that. I mean, she's starting to spread out as it is. You can see it. Besides, uh, she thinks Willis has money. You don't want a woman like that, Dave. You're right. Listen, guys, I won't be around for a few days. Going down to Costa Rica with stuff on her yacht. Her yacht? Her dad's yacht. Very wealthy in Texas oil. Stuff I was just telling the guys about our trip down to Costa Rica. Yeah. Hey, does Willis know how to get a hold of you in case there's an emergency? Yes, I'll be staying at the Westin. Right. Well, let's go eat so you can pack, huh? Right. Hey, Mike. Uh, Seriously, though, I mean, I mean, check it out. I, 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 I got a little bit of a, a six-pack working, you're right? You're ripped. I mean, you're, you're hammered. You're forged steel, Dave. You don't, you don't think I look? Uh, you know, I don't need liposuction, right? No liposuction for you. They have clinics down there, but you don't need. But I'm lightly buffed, right? Fine, right? Huh? Sure. Okay. Pepe. <laughs> yeah, I got a little. Well, we'll both get it all. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> you coming? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it wasn't just about the money with that Stephanie chick. I mean, she shot me down before I had a chance to lie about my occupation. Who oh. am I kidding? I've lost it. Hell, I never had it. Hey, Dave. What? See that girl walking this morning in the black bathing suit? Yeah. Pretty fine, isn't she? Yeah, she's real fine. She's been looking at you now for the last minute or so. Really? Yeah, really? I mean, come on, I know what I'm looking at. Look, don't beat yourself up about this, Stephanie. Check, I mean, don't be down, despondent, or depressed about it. Huh? Look at this. girl's there for you. She's waving at you. Look how good she looks. She's got Dave Thunder Thornton written all over her. She's yours. You know what I mean? Just gather yourself and go close her out, buddy. Go. Yeah.
Hi, Nicole. Did you know this package has been sitting up on the front desk for you? No, I didn't. Yeah, it's Mark Urgent, so I thought I'd run it down. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Dave, I can assure you, if I had a sister, you're the one I would be concerned about, not Willis. Really? Really, absolutely. Now sit down. Take a look at this. Guy's gone one day and he sent us a tape. I have kidnapped Willis. I want $500,000 for his expeditious and safe return. There is a garbage can in the AB docks across from the Marina Fiesta in Cabo. Put the money in a plastic bag and drop it in the garbage can on Wednesday at 11 o'clock a.m. And don't even think about contacting the police or the federales because I have connections. To illustrate my point, I looked up a certain Dave Thornton. Seems like Dave's been a very bad boy. Drunk and disorderly citation a couple years ago. Citation number 087-323-B. If you contact the authorities, I'll hear about it. And Willis will die. Oh, how rude of me. I guess I should show you how Willis is doing. Ray here. Oh, good, Ray. How are you? Yeah, it's Stephanie Wade, all right. You know, you think an attractive girl like that could find something better to do, you know? Like date me. Right. Now, listen, uh, uh, what do you got on it? Murder, hey, kidnapping, extortion in Texas. You know, Houston PD says she started this crime spree after her daddy cut her off. And he said she had to go out and try to earn a living. Oh, who's this Willis? Yeah, Willis is a friend of mine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Listen, uh, what about her claims of having a lot of pull down here in Mexico? Well, you know, it's hard to say. Uh, her father's an oil man, does a lot of business down there. Let me put it this way. He's got a lot of juice. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Well, look, Ray, you've been a big help. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, one thing you got to know, Mike. This boyfriend, this Hank Black, he's the one you got to watch out for. He's a real screwball. Man, this is crazy, Hank. If you ask me, she's enjoying this job a little too much. Hey, Mike, hey, Dan. Yeah? Well, no Send one's asking you, Alberto. This is strictly business. Eats your heart out, Dave. Actually, we're not going down to Costa Rica right now. Steph has to go into Cabo to pick up some money that somebody wired. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we get the money, she's going to dump them. I found that citation. That Stephanie chick was right about those numbers. Hey, look, man, you think we should call Ruiz, huh? No, I'll tell you what. Let's not call him until we find out what we're up against. Besides, you know, Willis knows all that uh, karate, that monkey fighting stuff. He'll take care of himself. Let's go. Jump in. Water's gray. 
I'll be right in. I just want to chart our course with the skipper. All right. You know, the skipper misses his first mate. Well, I missed you, too. You sure about that? Are you jealous? I don't understand why we can't just knock this guy over the head and wait for the Would money. you please stop with that knock him over the head talk? Why not? It's tried and true. Yeah, tried and true like the last guy you hit over the head? How was I supposed to know he had a thin skull? <sighs> Besides, this guy looks like he has a hard head. Hank, we're entrepreneurs. We're not killers. Let me just handle this my way, okay? Besides, you and I both know that a happy captive is easier to control. You just think there'd be some other way to make this guy happy. Why don't we throw him a party or find his favorite video? Hey, since when has a little extracurricular sex gotten in the way of our relationship? Huh? You know, they're not going to go to Costa Rica if the money drop is in Cabo. That makes sense. But I'm more concerned about what Stephanie's going to do when she realizes Willis doesn't have any money. Jason. See? Which can? Hear that right there? What? Huh? Did you hear that? Can on Wednesday at 11 o'clock a.m. Right here. And Yavi docks across from the Marina Fiesta in Cabo. Put the money in a plastic bag and right drop there. it in the garbage can on Wednesday at 11 o'clock a.m. Are those furies? Yeah, La Paz de Mazala. seen Stephanie look so satisfied. Hey, why don't you guys jump down and uh, get me a beer, would you? We're out. You finished all the beers. Jeez. What's a cruise without beer? Pull into one of these ports here and I'll hop off and get us a couple cases. No, that won't be necessary. Hank, take the dinghy out and get some more supplies. And take Jason with you. Sure thing, Miss Wade. Hey! Hey, when you're in there, get some of that body lotion, the edible kind, cherry flavor. Picture? Well, that's as good as I could get off the TV, Dave. You know, Willis actually thinks that this girl's attracted to him. Wow. Mm. Boys. I bet you just don't get out enough. 
successful men rarely do. My father's like that. He built a fortune that he'll never enjoy. That's not what I love. I know that. Believe me, I do. His life is like a role model to me in a negative sense. I promised myself as a kid to enjoy life to the fullest. And I have. Mm. Well, there is more to life than money. Mm. Well, don't get me wrong. Money's important. You just have to find the right balance. Yeah, you can't buy everything with money. You can't buy what we feel for each other. I bet it wouldn't matter to you if I was dead broke. Guys? Yeah. Have either one of you two seen these two people? No, I haven't. How about you? Nope. No. Um, your friends, uh, what happened? They missing? Yeah, they're missing, all right. That's a long story. Thanks. Yeah. Say, uh, you know, I um, know a lot of people around here. Uh, maybe I could show these photos around for you. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, take these. I've got plenty. Okay. If I hear anything, how can I uh, get a hold of you? Hey, Thunder! Where are we staying? Las Casitas Hotel. Las Casitas Hotel. OK, if I hear anything, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. What's your name? Uh, Fisher. Hack Fisher. Hack Fisher. Yeah. Thanks, Hack. Sure thing. Appreciate it. Hola, buenas noches, senor. Buenas noches. Dos cuatro, por favor. ¿Sus nombres? Uh, Dave Thornton, Mike Land. Mike Land? Yes. Un momento, por favor. ¿Llegó esto para usted? This is not a good omen, David. Um, ¿Quién lo trajo aquí? No sé, un señor pelón. ¿Pelón? ¿No hair? Sí, no hair. Ah. Uh, ¿Tiene uh, VCR? No. ¿No VCR? No. ¿En el hotel no VCR? No, sir. All right, look, it's 8.30 in La Paz. Where do we find a VCR? I don't know. This one right here has hi-fi stereo sound. And this one is on sale. It has 155 channel capability, and it comes with automatic digital tracking. Well, let's take the cartoon out. Very good. It also has 400 lines of resolution, and it comes with universal remote control, and it's cable ready. Sure. Look, if it'll make you feel better, I'll go put it in the other room, okay? All right. 
but hurry back. What show is this? I'm losing the sting. <laughs> Okay, so you know our general whereabouts, that's fine. But if you don't drop off that money tomorrow as directed, Willis is a dead man. We've killed one man already, we don't want to make it two. I can't believe we've been busting our butts and this guy's been squirming with this chick the whole time. Dave, Willis has no idea he's been kidnapped. Come on in. He's in the shower? Yeah. I think they could have gotten a better picture here. Burn that. I, uh, watched the video you gave me to take to the hotel. Oh, yeah? Pretty good, wasn't it? I think it was in bad taste. <laughs> What's the matter? Did I offend your refined sensibilities? That's not funny. Hey, come here. Look, now tomorrow morning we pick up the money, we drop him off at some low location, and then off we go into the sunset. Baby, you're number one. You don't have to be jealous of Willis. Just answer me one question. Is he a better lover than me? <laughs> That's a teenager's game. That's a simple question. Without a simple answer. Why don't you try yes or no? Okay, look. He has a few years on you, all right? He's more experienced. Great. I'll just get out of your oh, way. Uh, come on, now. Don't, don't be juvenile. Oh, now I'm a bad lay and juvenile. Can we talk about this some other time? Yeah. I'll leave you two alone. I'm sure you have plans. Hank. This is really bizarre. Think we should go to the cops about this? I think we should just let it play out. Think about the future, man. Mutual funds. 20 years, you increase your investment tenfold. Your clowns counting your money already? What's with you? Nothing. See a hitch? We pick up our money, we drop off Senor Studley, we're on our way. You shut up. We're not dropping him off. I just talked with Stephanie, and we both agreed we don't want any witnesses here. So you're going to kill him? You got a problem with that? Ooh. Morning, sleepyhead. Going into Cabo. If you need anything, I've got beer and lotion at the top of my list. I ain't got some for these rope burns. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I didn't scare you away, did I? No. I don't scare so easy. Good. Well, then I trust you'll be here when I get back? Yeah, I'll be here. Mr. Dunleavy, how's it going? Pretty good, Alberto. Beautiful day today, eh? Yeah. It's fine. What's up? 
I noticed that uh, you and Stephanie have been getting along great. Yeah, well, she's a special woman. Yeah, she's pretty special. I never met anyone like her. She seems so happy around you. I mean, maybe satisfied's a better word. What are you driving at, Alberto? You mind if I ask you sort of like a personal question? Uh huh. Well, I won't know till you ask me. How do you do it? How do I do what, Alberto? You know, satisfy a woman. Because I can tell you, Stephanie doesn't satisfy easily. I was like, you got a trick or something? It's like a move. Sit down here. It's a secret. You listen to them. Well, you listen to them? You, you try and figure out what they're saying? No, no, no. Women mean exactly what they say. You don't try to read anything into it. Just listen to them. Hey, bring me another cold one. Coming right up. That's it. That's it? Thanks. Hey, Mike, how do you think this thing's gonna turn out? Well, you never know, Dave. Hey, you know what? I've been thinking maybe two guys are gonna show up, one with a decoy plastic bag, in which case you and I had split up, right? That's right. You want a cold one? I'll give you a cold one. You know, Mike, she specifically said a plastic bag, which means anybody could toss it into the water, right? And a diver could be waiting for it and disappear to the other side of the marina. What then? Then we're sunk, Dave. Mike. There she is. This is outrageous. The nerve of that woman. She's here to pick the money up herself. Come on. Checking the money. Hey, do, do, do kidnappers do that? That's such a low thing to do. Damn it! Hey! Where's the money? Where's the money? Where's Willis? You get Willis when I get the money. Only thing you're gonna get, kid, is 30 years in jail. Now, where is he? Go to hell. Now, look. Willis is broke. He hasn't got any money. You're lying. I grew up around my father's friends. I know an eccentric rich man when I see one. I knew you weren't attracted to Willis. You hurt one hair in Willis's head. The authority's gonna be the least of your concerns. Pick up line the whole time. You can't touch me in Mexico. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Now, don't get your testosterone levels up. I wasn't gonna hurt him. You can ask him yourself if he ever thought he was in danger. Oh, my God. At the end. Hey, Willis. 
you all right? I'm fine. How are you? Hey, Dave, look, there's that hack fisher from the bus. Will you get him out of here? Now, look, Willis, did you know that you were kidnapped? Yeah, I know. Did you know they were going to kill you if we didn't give any money? Yeah, I know. Mike, I was having a great time. Hey, wait a minute. This, this chick's into, into bald guys. Man, you're either liars or you're inept idiots or both. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Hey, will you get her off me? Get her off me, will you? Yeah, all right, come on, Hank. Get up. Get up. Get up. Stand over there. Get over here. Get. Hey, Mike. I still don't get him. What, what, what has he got? It's a secret thing. Mr. Dunleavy says you just listen to what women have to say.